students do you know about cm ratio what cm ratio is of course you know you have studied a lot of time no what cm ratio if i ask you what is cm ratio then you might be answer that okay that is carbon to nitrogen ratio what what is that carbon and what is that nitrogen why it is significant in our study how it differ in different residues how it differ from soil to soil why in soil this is constant around 10 to 12 is to 1 that cm ratio why it is constant so in this video i am going to share with you what is the importance of cm ratio how it is constant and how what is the concept behind that cm ratio so good morning students welcome to another lecture so what is cm ratio if i say cm ratio your mind will say that okay that is carbon to nitrogen ratio but what is that carbon that carbon is that the carbohydrate form whenever you say any biomolecule any residue or anything there is some biomolecule and that carbon is the con main constituent of that biomolecule and of course nitrogen also and nitrogen is the major constituent of chlorophyll nitrogen is the major constituent of protein inside plant or animal body okay so why cn ratio is constant in soil that is why it varies from 10 to 12 to 1 what we have read in textbooks okay so whenever we add some phase organic material to the soil what happens there is something called priming effect happens what is priming effect that comes to your mind okay what is priming effect whenever we are adding some 1 kg of phase organic matter how much mineral nitrogen that immobilizes from the soil that is known as priming effect why it will immobilize so this is another concept like mobilization and immobilization mineralization and immobilization what is that the mineralization is the the forming uh, the transformation of organic constituent to the mineral form like if i say protein protein decomposition and form nitrate and ammonium in the soil so that is mineralization what is immobilization immobilization is the uptake suppose there is nitrate and ammonium in soil and plant uptake and it uh, assimilate in that in, in its uh, biomolecules then that is called immobilization right suppose microbes they assimilate that nitrate nitrogen that is immobilization that is fixation kind of thing so what happens when we add organic matter uh, in the soil if the cn ratio is higher i mean if i say straw straw the cn ratio we have heard that 80 is to 1 so there is 80 times of more carbon than nitrogen so what happens there is lot of carbon in that organic matter that is on decomposed carbon material so there will be the microbe growth will be much higher there because there is lot of energy lot of source like, like food carbon is the food material for microbes okay so there will be lot of huge amount of microbes grow aside to that of organic material to decompose it so when they will decompose that carbon that organic matter to assimilate that carbon there is need to uh, to build the protein molecule to build their body to synthesize to uh, structure their body we need protein so they will need protein so where how they synthesize protein they require nitrogen so that nitrogen they will assimilate from that mineral nitrogen whatever available in the soil in mineral form in soluble form in available form in ionized form that is nitrate or ammonium okay so during that uh, decomposition process during that uh, uh, decomposition process they will acquire that nitrogen from soil itself so what happened that mineral nitrogen uh, assimilates to their body so what happens that is immobilization occurs so that process is priming what is priming so whenever you are adding some organic matter whatever nitrogen or whatever mineral uh, nutrient that assimilates that uh, that immobilize from soil that is known as priming effect okay so uh, let me switch over to that uh, our, our primary discussion why the cn ratio is constant in soil 
So first of all, we add some organic matter or whatever uh, organic matter added to soil. The microbes will decompose them. Then they will grow. For that growth, that new, uh, nitrogen they require from soil, they immobilize uh, the nitrogen. Then what happens? When initially the population of microbes will be higher because there is a lot of carbon available. So when after a certain consumption process, decomposition process, that carbon will reduce, that organic matter will reduce, that will decompose. Then what will happen? Those microbes who are who were growing there, they will not get enough carbon. So there will be degradation. They, the microbes itself, they will die, they will be died and they will decompose. Okay, in the soil. So that decomposition process gradually slows down. And what happens when microbes decompose, microbial decomposition occurs, then that fixed, that assimilated nitrogen or uh, nutrient, whatever they uh, obtain from soil earlier, that will release, that will mineralize again to the soil. So that's why whenever we add certain organic matter to the soil, initially the CN ratio will be higher and then gradually, the CN ratio will get down and down and it will maintain to a okay initially when you add organic, more organic matter the microbial population will be increased okay then whenever the organic matter will be decomposed or the carbon will be consumed by that microbes then that organic matter will decompose again simultaneously that micro population will also decrease and that micro which uh, which are not getting enough food, they will die and they will be degenerated in the soil and their body that mineralizes and again that nitrogen comes to that soil itself. So the CNSO will gradually decrease or decline. So that this is the process. This is the fundamental process how CN ratio stabilizes in the soil. So if I say CN ratio of different material this is the uh, for microbes it is 4 4 to 5 is to 1 for soil that is 10 to 12 or somehow 8 to 15 is to 1 then for uh, the FYM that is 30 is to 1 for, uh, for straw that is 80 is to 1 for sawdust this is 400 is to 1 you can find it any in any book any soil science book okay so what is the importance of this CN ratio if we say 80 is to 1 or 400 is to 1 there is mineralization and immobilization as I said earlier. So when the CN ratio of organic matter is less than 20 is to 1, then there will be mineralization process happen. Okay, right. So if the organic matter of the CN ratio is more than 30 is to 1, the immobilization process occurs. Why immobilization occurs? Because uh, there is a lot of carbon and uh, nitrogen is required for that microbes to decompose and for their own growth the nitrogen required for protein synthesis for their in their body so they uh, consume that mineral nitrogen they immobilize that nitrogen that nutrient in soil so that is that's why immobilization occurs when the CN ratio is more than 20, 30 is to 1 so why mineralization occurs when mineralization occurs, the carbon is reduced, declining in the soil, the organic matter is declining in soil and the population of microbes, they do not get any, enough food to, uh, you know, so that they will die and they will decline and they will degenerate and then that will then again, that protein will uh, disseminate to ammonium, ammonium to nitrification, nitrification to nitrite and nitrate, all those things. So likewise, that mineralization and immobilization occurs in the soil. So in this lecture, you learn about what is CN ratio, how mineralization immobilization occurs, what is priming effect, then how soil CN ratio is constant. Have a good day. See you in the next lecture. Thank you.